This is the recording for the Wicked Problem Project Part C implementation. Since I am not currently teaching in a classroom, I am unable to implement a part of my project, but rather I am to discuss what steps I would take to implement it and once I have what surprises, pleasant or otherwise, I might encounter. As a brief reminder, I had chosen the issue of students not engaging with their print material in the classroom, especially those that were text-based. My solution to this problem after some refining was to obtain a classroom set of e-readers. My first step, after my own personal initial research so that I could speak very knowledgeably about having the e-readers in the room, would be to work on clearing the road for having the e-readers so that once I did have them, there would be nothing stopping me from using them. I would meet with my department head, my principals, bringing to these conversations curriculum outlines, lesson plans, different sources that I had found particularly useful, just to all illustrate that this really is a feasible task and a good goal to work towards. I anticipate that during these conversations the issue of funding and having expensive equipment in the hands of teenagers would be raised. I'm not concerned about those discussions as much since you can always usually find money if you look hard enough but I am concerned about the level of pushback that might exist um, regarding why students just can't use textbooks and dictionaries and why we can't do things the way they've always been done before. The conversations that involve the sentences, you know, reading a book was good enough for me and look at where I am today type statements. Um, I would need to make sure that I was prepared for that line of thinking before I went into the conversations, both the official ones in terms of meeting with the principals, but also with other teachers in general. Given that I could gain approval from the administration and got my grant funding to purchase the readers and the related equipment like headphones and chargers and cases, the next step would be actually integrating them into my classroom. I would definitely survey beforehand to find out what knowledge and experience student had with e-readers, particularly the brand that we would end up using. For better or for worse, that would take class time, and then beyond that, I would need to dedicate instructional time to actually teaching the students how to use the readers. As a high school teacher, you usually have roughly an hour a day with your students, and I would not only want to work with my students in a structured manner using the e-readers, but also give them time to play. So maybe I would lose two days, um, which can be tricky, especially in justifying what you're doing to parents and administrators. I also worry with dedicating that instructional time about the knowledge gap between students about e-readers. The students that need those devices the most may have the most trouble learning how to use them if they have come up through a system that has taught them how to use print texts, um, did not have a lot of technology resources to offer these students in the first place, they don't have technology resources at home, these e-readers may be a more difficult tool for them to use. That leaves me with two options. Either I dedicate more class time to working with students about using the e-readers as a classroom tool or I move forward with content lesson plans and help these students out as I go. But moving forward means that I'm back to the same problem I had before which was students are being left behind. The problem I was trying to solve. So that is an issue that I will have to wrestle with depending on different student levels um, and where they are having their particular difficulties. Overall, although I can see the highs and lows um, of having e-readers in my room, I can only see an overall positive outcome. The best thing would be the observation of seeing a rise in student engagement, and I would have to believe that this would be a fairly striking observation and change. 
even if students weren't able to comprehend all of the text material or were not able to finish the reading in the time allotted, the fact that students would be attempting to read would be a great start. This in turn would lead to better class discussions, more authentic small group work, hopefully there would be an uptick in completed assignments, especially from those students who are struggling before for any number of reasons. That being said, I don't expect to suddenly have a classroom of perfect Disney movie 4.0 students. After all, once the novelty wears off, there will still be a need for underlying motivation for them to get their work done. My intention is that the e-readers will help bolster the motivation that already exists. There will be other issues as well. I'm sure that students will find the word games enticing and distracting, but they may also be good for the students who finish early so that they don't distract others. A double-edged sword. I will still have to provide hard copies of materials for students who need them for any number of reasons, and federal disability law still holds true for e-readers as well. I cannot require work on an e-reader if a student cannot use one, so I will need to make accommodations along the way, providing transcripts of audio, braille printings of text, etc. And I'm sure that I will have to have hard copies for when technical issues arise, which they always do and always at the worst time. Dead batteries, broken screens, dysfunctional keyboards. Hopefully the cases will prevent much of that, um, but I will need to have a plan in place. You know, for instance, if a student accidentally drops a reader and it breaks, who pays? I'm hoping that that issue will be tackled in the meetings that happened prior to actually bringing the e-readers into the classroom. Overall, I think that students will be excited and enthusiastic about getting and using the e-readers, and I hope to be able to carry this momentum over into the rest of the school year and the rest of their studies.